Hey guys, this is the Mount Hillier Trail hike. Um, it's in Angeles National Forest. It's not the highest peak. It's not the most spectacular hike. It's not the longest one. It's not the toughest one. It's a nice, mellow, five, six mile loop hike in a part of the park that's not visited much. I haven't seen anyone else out on the trail this morning, which is pretty great. And you come up to Mount Hillier, which offers some uh, great viewpoints, uh, vista points. I'm there right now. This is This is the summit, but you can see the views are pretty good here. And back that way, you can see Saddleback Mountain and Mount Wilson, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, there's also a lot of these really cool rock formations and boulders here. This was an area where a guy named Vasquez, who uh, the character Zorro is loosely based on, uh, used to hang out with his gang in the mid-1800s. He was either a freedom fighter or a bandit, depending on your viewpoint, kind of like a Robin Hood type figure. Um, but when you start the hike, you go through an area named uh, Horse Flats, and there's a campground there. But that's a little, little hidden um, pasture where they used to keep their stolen horses. And if there's ever any trouble, they could run up into these boulders and hide out or defend themselves. So a little bit of interesting history. I do have some more historical tidbits on the website. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you go there. I also have maps and parking information. There's a link to that right underneath the video um, on YouTube. So please check that out as well. But otherwise, let me show you how to do this beautiful, mellow hike. Let's go. The hike starts uh, just past the Chalau Visitor Center. It's a little bit tricky, so check out the directions on the website. But you can see there's a parking area. And you're going to pick up the Silver Moccasin Trail, which is right here. Now, the Silver Moccasin is actually a uh, pretty long through trail in Angeles National Forest, but we're going to be on a little portion of it that's actually well maintained. Um, you can see there's mountain bike tracks here. This is a popular loop for mountain bikers, too, which can help you out if you get in a spot where you're not sure where the trail is. You just follow the mountain bike tracks, and you should be fine. Now, shortly after the beginning, you're going to start climbing up, and Obviously, when you climb, you get good views. You can start seeing some of the peaks pop over the horizon there. And we're going to be doing this kind of gentle uphill for about the first mile until we get to uh, the next landmark, which is the Horse Flat Campground. And again, you can see the trail's in really good condition, really well maintained, so that is a plus. Now, at this junction, we're going to make the hard left and leave the Silver Moccasin, which goes straight up there and head over on this little connector trail to Horse Flat. You can see it's all well marked. Really nice trails here, nice condition. Now when you come out to Horse Flat, we're gonna make the hard um, left to continue on the trail, but you can see there's some bathrooms up there, so if you need to go to the bathroom, this is the place to do it. And we come back on the loop, we're gonna come back here and go back down the way we just came. Here you can see the Mount Hillier Trail. This is the official start two miles and we're going to go downhill for a couple minutes here and then quickly we're going to start going uphill which we're going to do almost to the summit. Now this is a bouldering area and you'll see we'll enter the boulders here and there's a little um, marking to keep you on the trail here. It can get confusing. There can be little side trails where people go bouldering so uh, just beware. I'll show you the main place where you can get lost in a second, but you can see all the boulders, you can see Saddleback Mountain in the distance. We're going to keep heading uphill here. Now this next turn is important, switch back. It's real easy to go straight here and get lost in a maze of little use trails through the boulders right over there, but instead we're going to kind of cut back here on the switch back, and you can see right away the trail is much wider, and again the mountain bike trails are here to uh, help you on your way. Once you go from here, we're going to go through more boulder formations. There's a little bit of scrambling, but nothing uh, nothing serious here. But you can see it's really beautiful, and you can really um, easily imagine how this could be used as a hideout if the need arose. I'm going to keep heading up here, and eventually you're going to come up to this big, wide, um, what I'll call the summit area. Now, there's actually two peaks here. There's an unofficial 6,200 foot peak that the Sierra Club uses, and there's the one on the map, which I think is 6,162. Uh, and I'll show them both in a second. But to go to the first 6,200 peak, you can see the trail goes down there to the right, but we're going to do this little detour up to the left here 
to go to the pile of boulders that will give us our first peak. And if you're doing peak bagging, I would recommend hitting both of them. And even if you're not, it's easy enough to do them both and get some different views. I'm going to cut through here up to that pile of boulders straight ahead of us and just climb up on the boulders and you're going to get some sweeping views from Mount Wilson down to the left all the way up to Pacifico Mountain. There's Wilson, Strawberry, San Gabriel Peak, all the way up to Pacifico right there. So that's the first peak and when we're done here we're going to head back to the trail. There's going to be some little vista points off to the left there that you can enjoy. But we're going to start heading downhill on the loop um, down to the second point. This little section here is one of my favorites, this little kind of protected meadow going through and you're going to see we're going to twist around to the right and up ahead of us is the 61-62 summit right there and you're going to look for a little unmarked use trail which is right here. And you look down to the right. That's only a few minutes hike up the hill here. It's not, not tough by any stretch of the imagination. We're just going to go up here until we get to the end of the section where there's another pile of boulders, which you can see right here. And this is the official peak that you will see on the topographic map. So check it out. Straight ahead you can see uh, Twin Peaks, Mount Waterman. When we're done here, we're just going to head back to that trail and continue in the loop. Now if you don't want to go on paved trails, you can just turn around and go back the way you came. But we're going to go down some paved trails in a second, but first we have some more trail trail to descend which is beautiful and you can see there's great views as you go down here through the pines but eventually we're going to come out to uh, an area called uh, Rosanita Saddle which is right here this is where we're going to start the paved section you can see there's a parking lot here and if we wanted to just cheat and get right to the summit uh, we could have just drove up here and parked but what fun would that be that would be driving to the summit and parking guy .com. We're going to make the right here and head down this little paved road. Now this is pretty mellow. It's easy on the knees. It's nice and cruisy and uh, it's not really a road road. We're going to go down until we see this turn off here which will bring us back to Horse Flat. You can see it's all well marked. There's the Horse Flat campground sign straight ahead. And we're just going to go down here until we get to the campground. Now, if you wanted to stay overnight here, you definitely can. Um, horse Flat is where they used to keep the stolen horses, allegedly, as they say. Forest Service, pretty aggressive about paying here. But if you are going to stay here, that's where you drive in. That's where you pay. And you just hike down this pleasant little paved road into the campground here until you get to the campground loop. Now, technically, you can go either way. I always just go to the right because it's a little bit flatter, a little bit less up and down. And it goes by some toilets. I'm going to go straight down here. You can see there's some toilets there. This is another place to go. There's no toilet at the trailhead. There's also no water at the trailhead, just as an FYI. There's not a lot of shade on the hike. I'm going to keep going around until we kind of get to the end of the loop. And at the end of the loop, we're going to see the trail that we came in on. That's where we came in from the Silver Moccasin Connector. There's the Mount Hillier Trail that we went down originally. And from here on out, you're just going to retrace your steps back to the beginning. So we're going to head back down here towards the Silver Moccasin. And then when we get to the intersection with the Silver Moccasin, which is right here, we're going to go, there's the Silver Moccasin. We're going to go straight back down to the car. Nice little sign telling you, you can go to West Fork and all different places. And, uh, just enjoy the last mile of downhill. Uh, and that's the end of the hike. Yeah, so that's it, Mount Hillier. Again, if you uh, want to get away from the crowds, this is a good option. Also, if you're beginning hiking, if you want to start building up to bigger peaks, Mount Hillier is a good one to start on. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link right to the right underneath the video to the full guide. And if you uh, want to say thank you, just please click that little thumbs up button. It's an easy way to do it. It helps other people find this video, hopefully do the hike safely and not get lost. So Mount Hillier, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments on YouTube. I'm pretty good at answering most of them. But otherwise, enjoy this beautiful hike if you have not already. And I will see you guys out there. Bye.